Rick. They're very nice pogo sticks. But I didn't order pogo sticks. I ordered glue sticks. Mom! Mom! I'll be with you in a minute, Cubs. Sorry. No, that's what she said ten minutes ago. Ten minutes, six seconds ago, to be precise. Uh -huh. Hey, come on. I got an idea. What, what kind of an idea? Yes, I am. Oh! Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Rick, could you please hold on for a second? Click, could you please do something about these monkeys? <laughs> Consider it done. <laughs> All pogo sticking outside, please. Oh, okay. oh I don't. Oh, watch your head. <laughs> Rick Sticks is having a special on dipsticks, lipsticks, and fiddlesticks? Hmm. Oh, hold on a second, Rick. Dear Mom, it is time for you to read to us. Lionel and Leona. Oh. Rick, I've got a dash. Send me the glue sticks, two dipsticks, one lipstick, and six fiddlesticks. Bye! Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, Cubs. Here, here's the book, Mom. I know this book. It's about a farmer who has cows that go click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo? Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> does not compute. Those do not click, clack, moo. They do in this book, click. Click, clack, moo. Cows the Type by Doreen Cronin. Pictures by Betsy Lewin. Come on, cubs, let's go get comfy and read. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cows the Type. Mm, interesting. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, oh. Okay. Ready? Yep. All set, Lyle? Oh, saying, all right. All right. <clears throat> okay. Click, clack, moo by Doreen Cronin. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack moo. At first he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible! Click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. Mm. No milk today, oh. cried Farmer Brown. Mm. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, oh. click, clack. Wait a minute, oh. wait a minute. Hmm? What is that thing? Oh, it's a typewriter. Oh, Cleo. Oh, I love it when you say typewriter. <laughs> Typewriter. Ooh. Oh, say it one more. <laughs> ah, those books were all history anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Library uh, humor. Don't you just love it? What's a typewriter? Oh, oh, oh a, a thing of beauty, Lionel. A mechanical miracle. Yes. A mechanical miracle of its time. Now sadly gone the way of the dinosaur. Oh, the typewriter is the eighth wonder of the world. Right there between the Great Pyramids and... Uh, bubble wrap. Oh, if, if only I had my faithful old machine with me here. I could show you. Wait a minute, Theo. I think we still have it. Oh, be still my lion heart. My database indicates it is somewhere on sub-basement five. To sub-basement five! Oh, I love a good hunt. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I love a good hunt. I love a good hunt. Click. Eek. You look great. You look great. Hey, sing along with Mark the Reader in the Bow Wells as they bring you the short I is sound in the word. Rick!
brick. Brick, t, trick. T, ick, tick. Stick. <laughs> L. I, l, li. Lip, lip. Again at Blending Fields, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word. Competing today, we have Sir <laughs> and Sir Ick. <laughs> Blend on, dudes. Ick. 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 Gawain's word for today, and this is Gawain saying, I shall be tickled. Uh, to see you next time on Gawain's Word, Gawain's Word. Flying off the shelf once again, it's the continuing, daring, and dangling adventures of Cliffhanger! Today's adventure number six, Cliffhanger and Trixie the Tricky Pixie. From a cliff, and that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Excuse me, excuse me. We find Cliffhanger where we left him last, hanging from a cliff. Can't hold on much longer. Suddenly, above him, Cliff sees Trixie the Tricky Pixie. Quickly, Cliff digs into his nifty backpack and lifts out his trusty survival manual. Using his expert decoding skills, Cliff begins to read. Ricky the Tick Picker, here it is, Trixie the Tricky Pixie. When you see Trixie the Tricky Pixie, say the magic words and she will give you a lift off the cliff. The magic words? That would be six thick thistle sticks. Six sit thistle thicks. Nope. Uh, six sick thistle sticks. Uh-uh. Six hundred and six minutes pass. Six thick thistle sticks. Sorry, your time is up. I have got to get to a picnic in Dixie. Six thick thistle sticks. Six thick thistle sticks. Six thick thistle sticks. And that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Can't hold on much longer. No. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's it. Oh boy, oh boy. This is so exciting. What? Is it the boy? Yeah. Memo. Clean sub basement five. Oh, beautiful typewriter of mine. Oh, so good to see you again. Hey, doesn't Sam oh. Spud have one of these things? Oh. <laughs> yes, he does, Lionel. But no one tickles the keys like your father. <laughs> Show us how it works, Daddy. Show us how it works. Yeah. Oh, okay, Leona. Lionel, stand back and I will okay. demonstrate the marvelous multitude of the typewriter's moving <laughs> parts. Oh, get ready for click, clock, roar. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ha! Uh, that doesn't sound like this crack. Mm, it's more like clunk clunk. Mm. It appears that that machine is not functioning. Oh, no. No, no, it'll work. You'll see. Come on, you can do it, old timer. Oh, it's no use. 
Well. I'm sorry, Cubs. I, I'm not going to be able to show you how a typewriter works. Yes, you will, Theo. Click, could you please bring the cow's typewriter out of the book? The, the cow's, cow's typewriter? Well, I'm sure they won't mind us borrowing it for a little while. Executing command. <laughs> Task completed. Applause for Mouse! All right, well done. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Applause for typewriter, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to witness the eighth wonder of the world. <laughs> eh? Eh? Is that a cool sound or what? Wow! It rolls! <laughs> it rolls! <laughs> it dings! It dings! <laughs> yeah. Cool. And that's only the tip of the typewriter. <laughs> It makes letters. Look! Yes, it makes letters. It makes words. It makes sentences. It makes paragraphs! <gasps> oh, how I've missed that sound! Oh. Clickety clack, clickety clack! <laughs> you haven't lost your touch, Theo. Oh. But we have to get the typewriter back to the cows! Clickety clack, clickety clack! <laughs> Dad? Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. <laughs> Never fear. We live in a library. Oh. Come on, let's go, let's go. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, oh, clickety-clack. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, the sweet sound of the old desk piano. Clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack, ding! <laughs> now that's comedy. <laughs> ding! <laughs> and now, Timeless Classic Masterpieces presents another chapter from that saga of the sea, Moby Duck, in which Captain Ahab, with the crew of the good ship Peapod, continues his endless search for Moby the Great White Duck. Call me silly, but I think the duck is somewhere in the vicinity. Methinks our long search will soon be over. Ah. Do you see him, Mr. Starbuck? Do you see the duck? Nay, Captain Silly, can't see a thing. Except for an old Yankee clipper. Seas be rough, arg. Wait, Captain, thar she quacks. Moby, the great white duck. Arg at last. Nay, Mr. Starbuck. That not be Moby, the great white duck. Arg. Arg. No? Arg. No! Look. See the print on the screen there? Ch ick n. Chick n. Ch not d. Ick not uck. Icken. Arg that be Moby the hippy dippy white chicken. Arg. I be sorry, Captain. The seas be playing tricks with me decoding skills. Like I always say at the end of every chapter, snap out of me! <laughs> Moby, the great white duck, be near, very near. Methinks our search will soon be over. Ah. Chick. Ick. Ick. Pick. Pig. Ping. If you can read I and G, then you can read King and Ring, and you can read Sting yeah. and Sling, and you can read Spring. Yeah, you really 
start to swing Gonna sing you a thing about ing If you can read I-N-G Then you can read fling and cling And you can read ring and string And you can read ping Yeah, you really start to read Little ing is a thing that you need If you can read I-N-G Then you can read wing and ring And you can read ding And you can read king Cause you can read and now, a word from star of stage, screen, and television, Mr. Bruno Kern. Nothing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It was nothing. Really nothing. Now, I'm not kidding. All, all I said was nothing. I mean, it's a very... My work would be... Nothing without all of you. No! I can't believe this. <laughs> it's nothing. No! I'm not trying to get any applause. It's a very simple fact. Nothing. It's nothing. No! Vital signs stable. What's next, Dr. Lionel? To loosen. Turn one half turn to the right. <laughs> All right, that should fix it. Or not. Oh, no. Not what we need? A miracle. No, Leona. What we need is professional help. Bring on the grease monkeys! Ha! Let's turn this baby back and get out of the way. Look at Fox jumped over the lazy dog. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Ding! Zip! <laughs> Theo, the cows in the boat want their typewriter returned. Not yet, Click. Well, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their country. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Ding! <laughs> clickety clack, clickety. Huh? Oh, I know that scent. Oh! Surprise! Surprise! Oh. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Click. <gasps> clack. <gasps> clickety clack. <laughs> you fixed it? It's working? We fixed it. Oh! Wow! My dearest Cleo, Lionel, and Leona, thank you so much for saving my typewriter's life. On behalf of the machines everywhere, I rejoice. Hooray! Come, my old friend. We must make beautiful words together. <laughs> Farewell, family. There's paper in the basement. Can, can we put the cow's typewriter back in the book so we can finish the story? Yeah. Executing command. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right. All right. All right, now. Me, Mommy, oh, where were we? Oh, yeah. The cows were striking for electric blankets. Uh. Yeah, yeah, because they were cold. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right. The next day, Farmer Brown got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed, no milk, no eggs. 
No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door, and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, click clack, quack, quack. Clickety, clack. Clickety, quack, quack. The end. <laughs> the end. Oh, that was cool. The ducks got a diving board. <laughs> yeah, they did, but, oh, but poor Farmer Brown. I wonder what kind of farm animal the typewriter went to next. Hmm. hmm. Perhaps a monkey. <laughs> uh, uh, typogram for uh, Cleo. Oh. Here you go. Oh, uh, oh. Ah, you go. thank you. Now, who could this be from? Uh, 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 what, no uh, tip? Oh, um. <laughs> Dear Cleo, the basement is cold at night. I'd like an electric blanket. Sincerely, Theo. Oh, oh, oh come on. Let's see what they are. I've heard that somewhere before. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Right. Hmm. Uh, ha. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Hmm. Nah, I'd have to run that by legal. Clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack. Ding! <laughs> the end. <laughs> I love that joke. Between the lions. Come on, everyone. Let's show them how it's done. Watch me. This is Marty Fair. Miss Teresa Weatherspoon. Mr. David Garrison. You can do it. Games and stories at the Between the Lions website, pbskids.org, or America Online. Keyword, PBS Kids. Hi, Baja Men! Hi, Leora! Hey, can you guys be my designated readers? Sure, sure Leora! Sure. Yeah. I have a book about a dog. So do I. So do I. Oh. Yo! Who took the dog books out? <laughs> <laughs>
between the